Today's video, we will do an unboxing of the Pixel 2 XL in black color and also do a quick review of the software interface. So let's dive in and unbox one of the most anticipated smartphones of 2017 that comes straight from Google. All right, so let's raise the box. And as you can see, here's the Pixel 2 XL in its full glory and that gorgeous P-OLED display hiding behind the wrap. Let me just cite some quick specs. The Pixel 2 XL comes with a Snapdragon 835 processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, and a 6-inch P-OLED display that rocks a 1440 by 2880 screen resolution and 536 pixels per inches. These numbers are quite satisfactory compared to other flagships on the market. Now let's do a quick tour around the Pixel 2 XL, but before that, let me show you what you get in the box with your Pixel 2 purchase. So as you can see, you have all the standard stuff with a few additions. You obviously get the Pixel 2 XL, a USB Type-C 18 watt wall charging plug, USB-C to USB-C cable, a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack adapter, a quick start guide, and you get a little USB-C to regular USB adapter. Now let's do the tour around the Pixel and check out the hardware. On the front, the highlights is the two stereo speakers that are going to make a lot of people happy. One of them is on the top and one of them is at the bottom. On the right side, we have a power button and the volume rocker underneath it. And on the left side, we have the SIM card tray. And of course, on the back side, we have the fingerprint sensor, which is placed the way I like it, under the camera, and more importantly, centered and within easy reach of your finger. And then we have the camera right above it. And of course, I like the fact that the camera sits in its own little rectangular block. The camera, of course, is the celebrated 12 megapixel camera with an aperture of f1.8 that received a really high DxO mark of 98. Highest in the industry, in fact, but we will not rely on that solely. Rather, we will wait for some real-life comparisons to see how this camera stacks up compared to other flagships. Regardless though, this camera will be one of the top smartphone cameras in the market. There's no question about that. Now finally on the bottom, we have a USB Type-C port. And as you can see, there's no more 3.5 millimeter headphone jack slot, which may or may not give nightmares to some people. Now I personally don't care about them because I'm not obsessed with music 24 seven, but I know some people do care. Luckily we have a little adapter for backwards compatibility. And of course, my opinion on the overall build of this phone is favorable. It feels expensive, it feels solid. It's not built with full glass, nor it is as shiny as some of the other smartphones out there. Hence, it doesn't attract too many fingerprints on the rear. However, the Pixel 2 XL does not have wireless charging. Anyway, let's dive in now and take a look at the software. All right, so here's the home screen of the Google Pixel 2 XL. And here's the wallpapers that they've been talking about that are kind of live. So as you can see, the bottom here, you can see the actual waves on the sea. Now you can go in here, if you press and hold, you can go to wallpapers, and then you can scroll to living universe, and you have access to a bunch of other wallpapers that have the same kind of uh, real life effects. For example, if I tap on this one right here, uh, as you can see, there is a bunch of birds that are flying on top over here, and then you get the zoom in feature. So let this uh, set this as a wallpaper, and as you can see, it's very quick to be set. And even after you apply the wallpaper, uh, the phone doesn't seem to lag, it's pretty quick. This is the app tray, by the way. From the top, you can search apps. Over here, you have recently uh, used apps, frequently used apps. And then here, you have all the apps uh, that you download right over here. You can tap this to go home. You can tap that button to access the recent uh, screen and swipe the uh, apps away, just as usual. And if we tap this one over here, we can tap that and that's the phone dialer. So let's take a look at the uh, settings of notifications panel. So let's pull it down. If you pull it one time, this is what you see. These are the quick toggles. You can tap that to go to settings uh, or you can pull down to reveal the full notifications panel, uh, including all your quick toggles. On the top, you have a brightness slider. You can also tap this icon, the pen symbol here to edit the quick toggle screen. So if I tap this, it's gonna allow me to edit the quick toggles. And if I tap this, it goes into the settings. And again, if I go over here, I can tap this arrow to pull the quick toggles down and tap it again to pull it up or just tap the settings to go into the settings. So let's just quickly look around around here. Uh, as you can see, we have the battery here. So if you go to the battery, 
you'll see that you'll see a last full charge. So this is the full charge you've had. Uh, it, it gives you how many hours was your phone fully charged uh, since the last full charge. So that's a nice statistic. And you have all these options at the bottom. You can turn on battery saver. You can turn on the battery percentage meter that shows a percentage meter on the top. And you can uh, actually enable adaptive brightness, which is just means automatic brightness. And if you scroll down, it'll show you which app or service is using, is using most of your battery life. Uh, if we go back here and go to display, there's a bunch of things here that might be new. that are actually new for the Pixel 2. Uh, as you can see, you have the night light. That's the standard feature. Adaptive brightness is a standard feature. You can access the wallpapers from here as well. And uh, you can tap on advanced. And the thing that you're going to see that is actually new is at the bottom here. It's called the ambient display. This is the always on display. Now, when you tap this guy, you have a bunch of options. You can actually have it enabled. And if you do have it enabled, even when your phone is turned off, you're going to see a display that is on all the time. It's going to show you the time. It's going to show you the notifications and other information that I'll show you in a second. It is saying here that it's going to increase the battery usage, so use this carefully. You can always double tap on the screen to check the phone. And you can also lift the phone to check the phone. Let me show you what that means. And over here, you can enable notifications. If you do get notifications, do you want to see them on the ambient display or not? You can turn that off if you don't want it or turn it on. Now, let's turn off the phone and see what this thing looks like. All right, so that's the always on display. As you can see, you can see the time, the date, and you have a little notification at the bottom. And you can double tap to check your phone, okay? And that's going to take you to the lock screen, and you can unlock it from here. In this case, I don't have a PIN number, but uh, that is the always on display the uh, pixel version which is called the ambient display go back over here and we don't have anything else all right you can always tap the help icon it's going to give you some more information uh, let's go back out another really new feature that the pixel 2 xl is released with is the squeezing feature so you're able to squeeze your phone to take certain actions now to access the menu where you can customize the squeeze uh, options you have to go to the system and you have to go to language input and gestures before that take a look over here it is running android 8.0 okay so this is the latest version of android i just checked to see if there's an update there's no updates it's up to date and let's go back here go to language input and gestures and from here uh, you can tap on advanced and then at the bottom you have what is called the active edge so this is basically what allows you to squeeze your phone and actually uh, access functionality such as launching your Google Assistant. So if you tap on it, it's going to go into the detail menu. And as you can see, you can, you can squeeze for Assistant. That is the Google Assistant. Uh, you can allow this to happen when the screen is actually off. And you can also squeeze for silence. So if somebody's giving you a call, you can squeeze your phone and it's going to silence that phone call. And of course, in every other scenario, when somebody's not calling you, if you do squeeze your phone, it's going to bring up the Google Assistant. And from here, you can actually check up on the squeeze. Uh, you can modify uh, the squeeze sensitivity. So you want to lightly squeeze the phone to bring up the options, or do you want to firmly squeeze the phone uh, to bring up the Google Assistant? And of course, if I'm holding the phone in my hands, I can give it a test drive if I squeeze it. As you can see, it actually uh, shows you that the phone is being squeezed and you can launch the Google Assistant from here. I did not set up Google Assistant yet, so it's not gonna show up. Again, let me give it a squeeze and you can see the uh, little feedback on the screen here. Okay, so this is the screen where you set everything up. All right, so let's move on to other stuff. And going back to the home screen, again, everything is as usual. You know, press and hold to bring up the menu. You can add widgets from here. So we have all these preset widgets. Of course, as you know, with Android, you can download millions of other widgets. Uh, go back out here, I already show you the wallpapers. And of course, uh, we looked at the living universe, which you have access to all these uh, different wallpapers, come alive wallpapers, not, not bad, nice and crispy, uh, come and play, these are more playful, uh, you have things like keep looking, in the shadows, all these different themes that you can enjoy, uh, such as the earth wallpapers here as well. Okay, there's so many of these guys that uh, there's a huge selection of high quality wallpapers but of course the highlight is the living universe wallpapers that are animated all right uh, take a look at this this is the actual world let's just say allow as you can see the whole world actually rotates that's the animation all right let's go back out uh, more settings home settings 
So you have a bunch of other things you can do. Uh, add icons to home screen when you download a new app, uh, display the Google app, app suggestions, blah, blah, blah. Allow home screen rotation, which is, you know, if you want landscape or portrait, uh, all these things are right here. Okay, so that's basically a quick overview of the software functionality of the Google Pixel as well as the unboxing. And of course, that